What's up, Grizzlies? We are so, so excited to welcome you back to season two of Scoreboard Unlocked. As you know, I'm Connor Parrish. And I'm Ethan Griffin. You're gonna see some new faces this year anchoring different segments throughout Scoreboard. But don't worry, me and Connor are still gonna be here and we'll always be here for you guys. Absolutely, but anyways, uh, let's get right into it. Found it, noggin, see ya. got special guests again this season. We like this guest so much, he's back. But this time with a different sport. Any guesses? Hmm. What's going on Grizzlies? My name's Carson Perry Smith. Uh, so first off, Elk Grove game. First game, home game. Fantastic. Uh, you had a really nice solid uh, solid catch into double coverage there early on. Yep. Was that a planned play or was that kind of a oh no moment for you when you saw the that ball was, coming that at That was you? definitely an oh no moment. <laughs> yeah. Lucas just threw it up there and I was happy to go make a play. And well, the opportunity, yeah. You know, that's that's what you do best, right? Make plays, yeah. Yep. Right. That was a good team win. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to Luch for sure. I mean, he's, he definitely stepped up. Yeah, stepped yeah. up, coming in. After, uh, fortunately, Nick sorry Harris. To, but. Sorry to bring this up, but Manteca, you want to give us a little breakdown? To be honest, we got muscled out of that game. Um, we went into there knowing that they would be a run first team, but every single play, I mean, we shut them out for the first half, but every play in the second half was just yard after yard, and we couldn't stop it, even for a second. Yeah, the shutout in the first half was pretty impressive. It was yeah. a very good Manteca offense, but that first drive, in that, or the drive in the third quarter, five yards after five yards, I guess. Yeah. Looked like it was too much to uh, really handle. Right, but for sure, yeah. Second half counts for sure. And mm -hmm. then Pittsburgh, you know, they're a tough opponent. Tell us, tell us what you feel about that. Pittsburgh's definitely scary. I mean, they're twice the school we are, like size-wise and stuff like that. In the area they come from, they pull from a lot of good athletes all around. But if we do our jobs and do as we're coached, then it'll come out on top. Yeah. I think it's going to be a fantastic game. Uh, Grizz Nation's in the end zone this right. Friday today. Nice. So. Uh, we're planning on having some fun, and uh, thanks for coming on, and good luck against Pittsburgh tonight. Thank you, guys. Yeah, hopefully we can get some more highlights. We'll, uh, we'll see you guys. Absolutely. That was refreshing. How have our Grizzlies done since school started? Well, football was 1-1, one one, beating Elk Grove, but sadly losing to Manteca even with a scoreless first half. Flag football is 4-1, losing to Wood Creek. Well, we had no other scores for the sports at the time of the filming. But for our next episode, we'll have plenty more to share with you guys. Make sure to come out and support your fellow Grizzlies as the fall sports start up. Now on to our Game of the Week segment. Pound it! Noggin! See ya! Hey, hey, yeah, 
Podcast. Work your GB. Decade fans tonight. Be here. Woo! Woo! I'm Jackson Tate. Jackson, inside voice, please. And I'm Shay Ryan. Anyway, since this is scoreboard, let's talk about sports. Get ready. Tonight we have a home football game against Pittsburgh at 7.30 p.m. The theme is decades, so make sure to show up and show out in your best spirit. Let's watch this promo from Gavin to get the energy flowing. Thank you for that amazing video, Gavin. We will be in the end zone for this football game. The flag football team has a game next Tuesday, September 5th at St. Francis at 4.30 p.m. and another game later that week on Thursday, September 7th against Folsom at 8 p.m. Another game on September 5th is the girls volleyball game against Lincoln at 6 p.m. On Wednesday, September 6th, girls water polo is playing against Ponderosa High School at 5 p.m. The girls volleyball team plays again on the 7th against Kennedy at 5 p.m. Here we go again! Football Friday! Oh, football game on September 8th against Antelope at 7 p.m. Keep your eyes open on the Grizz Nation Instagram for the theme. Enough yelling. Later in September on the, 7th, on the 12th, golf has a match against Whitney at 3.30 p.m. Later that night on the September 12th, the girls water polo is playing against St. Francis at 7 p.m. And the third and final game on September 12th is flag football is playing against our rival Del Ora at 8 p.m. Show up to support a flag football team. Golf is playing Oak Ridge on September 14th at 3.30 p.m. at Granite Bay Golf Club. Also on September 14th, we have a tennis match against Whitney at 4 p.m. and a girls water polo game against Davis at 6 p.m. The last game on September 14th is the, is the girls volleyball game against Whitney at 5 p.m. Anyway guys, now that we know all of the upcoming games for the next two weeks, if you're interested in joining our amazing sports slash scoreboard media team, just talk to your counselor and tell them you want to join multimedia next semester. We would love to have you. Make sure to follow our Instagram account at TV. That wraps up everything for the start of scoreboard season two. Thank you guys for watching, and we're extremely excited for you to follow along during the season. Pound, Pound it, it, noggin, see ya. ya.